JJJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, your boy is back. And I done did it again. All right, this is just the web developer's lunch break. I don't even know what's today's topic, you know, for this lunch break. It's just, we out here, we chilling, man. <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. Um, somebody sent me a question today, earlier. And it was something like, you know, they're pretty much stuck with CSS. For some reason, people find CSS to be so difficult. I don't understand why. Um, I really wish you guys would take the time, check out my website, and basically build the Learn HTML CSS course that I have there. Because in reality, I basically put everything that you need. You know, there's a million things that you can go into detail with CSS, but in reality, you don't need it. You only need those uh, those things in, in special occasions, right? All you really need to know is how to change a background, how to change a font size, how to change the width, the height, um, positioning, uh, also display. Is it gonna be display block, display inline, display inline block? Those are the only things that you really need to know, all right? Now, when it comes to responsive design, you can do everything with just, um, how you call this, like percentages. You know, you don't have to go fancy and become a flex box, oh, what is it, flex box master or a freaking CSS grid a specialist like you don't need none of that shit, guys that's like sugarcoating something that you don't need to be honest with you guys like you don't need none of that stuff to create your layouts and there's gonna be occasions where people will prefer that you don't use what well, you know flex boxes and CSS grid depending on the team so I know a lot of people been relying on, on, on those things they're like man we got to do it through flex boxes and we, this and that. Like, guys, I'm not against flex boxes. The thing is that you guys are focusing on something that you can pretty much do it with just regular CSS, right? And it's like you trying to run before you crawl, right? You don't understand regular CSS, but yet you want to jump to flex boxes. You get what I'm saying? Like... You gotta first understand the basics and be able to create any any layout that I give you or any layout that any employer might give you with just regular CSS, guys. Stop trying to run before you crawl, man. Like, give yourself that time to, to learn all this stuff, learn all the concepts. And also, too, it's about practice, you know? You, you can't compare yourself to somebody who does coding, like, you know, builds layouts every day, 8 to 10, 15 hours a day. If you're only doing it one hour a day, two hours a day, it's going to take you some time. So you got to understand that, right? So give yourself that time. It's like, hey, man, you can't, you can't freaking fast forward through, like, the whole process. It's something like uh, the real Casadaro always says, like, uh, trust in the process, believe in the process. Like, <laughs> you can't go against that. You just gotta wait. You know, you gotta wait it out and just relax. Just you're gonna get it. Trust me. It's not that difficult at all. At first, in your head, you're thinking like, oh man, CSS is is difficult. Setting up a layout. Start small. You don't have to create a complex design. Start building things that are simple. Start building things that are, are small. And also, too, one thing that I notice from people is they don't understand how HTML works. You know, it's like they really don't understand it. They look at it and they're like, oh, yeah, maybe it works like this. Uh, if I put in a, a div tag and I put an H1 inside of it, that's it. it there's going to be an H1 inside of, of the div. But let's say, for example, 
Let's say you wanted to create a menu, right? A drop down menu. How would you make that? How would you make that happen, right? There's a whole bunch of little CSS tricks that you can do that with, right? You, let's say an example, you want to hover, right? So you could put in, you can put in, uh, let's say a, a div, right? And then inside of that div, you create a UL, right? That has your list of, uh, of the menus. And then also inside of that, that div, you create a, a span, which is called the title, whatever you call it, whatever class you want. And then let's say you have the title. Okay, so think about it like this. You have your, your div, your title inside of it. And then also inside of that same div, you have your UL with a list of, of menus. How will you make that become a drop down? How will you do that? The way I would do it is very simple. I would basically, I will keep it there. Then I will say uh, position uh, relative on, on the div. And then on the UL, I will say position absolute. So what does that mean? That means that the div, well, the UL is inside of the div, right? And it's relative to that, that space, the space of the div. So it's not looking at the windows. It's not looking at the layout. It's looking at just that little space of that div. So you will say, okay, this div is a width of 100 and a height of 60, right? So now it's just like that. Now you say to the UL, you say, hey, basically this is going to be a uh, position absolute. And it's, let's say, bottom zero. What would that do? That would basically bring the the freaking ul to go under the div the main div so now what you would do is do a little css trick you will say display none you will say display none on the ul and then when you hover on top of the div you will say display block on the ul what does that do when you go on top of the div, it will display the menu, basically, your drop down menu. That's simple. It's like, I know it's hard to say it, right? And not, not being able to show it to you guys through here. But the, the whole point of this is that to explain to you is like, if you don't understand how HTML works, how can you understand CSS? Right? If you don't understand how, you know, display block works and, how can you go in there and try to build a page? And it's like, you're worrying about, man, I'm trying to make this working in, in Flexbox. It's like, if you can't make it in Flexbox, use regular CSS. If you can't make it in CSS, regular CSS, that means you don't know what the hell you're doing. You need to go back to the drawing boards. You need to understand that you gotta do more projects. I have to learn HTML, CSS, the one with the social media i have the one that is building a netflix i have the one that is building an instagram guys nobody here is special nobody here is smarter than the other person um pretty much take your time it, it's not gonna hurt you this is the thing look i'm looking at 84 music right he's always here right and i look at his instagram and He's pretty much, I would say he's like somewhat mid-level already. Like he's doing pretty good. But yet he takes the time to do the learn HTML and CSS. He don't have to do that. He already knows those things. He don't have to do that at all. But why does he do it? Because he wants to perfect it. There's certain things that I teach him on every course, every video, that even though you've seen it in the Colt Steel course, like HTML, CSS, you went through that whole course, or you learned it in Team Treehouse, or you learned it in, in Colt Academy, or you learned it from another YouTuber, there's certain things that I teach in every single video. So even though you're like, oh yeah, I'm past HTML, CSS, no you're not. Don't think like that. Continue building stuff. So it's like, if I come in and I create something for you, a course, 
do it even though you already took html css before because there's certain tricks that i do that you don't know because i have the experience so i'm giving it to you guys you know what i mean so you know you, you sent me this question like how can i help you with css and you know i want to help you but you have to go in and do those projects if you don't do those projects and you try to jump onto something like flex boxes or css grid it's like bro you don't need that that's like synthetic uh how, how you call it synthetic sugar or some shit like that i forgot the name of it um it, it's like you don't need it it's like it's there it's like supposed to make your life easier just like bootstrap and and everything else but if you don't know how to do it with regular css how are you going to do it with flex boxes and css grid those are more advanced things into CSS, guys. Also, too, when I do a tutorial in in SAS, guys, SAS and CSS is the same thing. If I put something inside, like let's say I create a class, and then inside of that class, I nest, meaning I put another class inside of it, what does that mean in CSS? That means that you know that class space that class in regular css that's all it really means for me it's easier to have it like that and have it nested because then i don't have to keep on writing the same classes over and over so like let's say if i have a couple of em uh, a couple of elements of css like let's say i have a div <coughs> sorry <coughs> God damn <laughs> My fault Let's say I have a CSS I'm dying here It's hot Let's have a, a CSS That has Hold on I'm freaking literally dying right now <laughs> I feel like I just got out of air Sorry Yeah so If you have a, a, a div right And you have a H1 and an H2 inside of it in regular CSS vanilla you know what vanilla CSS <laughs> uh, regular CSS you will do something like you will say div and then from there you will say space h1 and then create your properties and then you will say div and then you will say h3 and create your properties right but now you keep on writing div constantly why would you do that when you could do it with SAS where you would say you declare div one time and then every time that you want to say the element is inside of div, just put it, nest it inside of it. All right. So that's why I do it with SAS, man. You know, even here on YouTube, I think I'm going to have to to create a, a SAS like crash course or something real quick just for, for a lot of you guys to really understand those little simple concepts. But yeah, man. Check out the learn you know learn HTML and CSS course that I have. You know, building a social network, right? Check that out because I built everything with just regular CSS. Like it took it took me forever. I feel like it took me forever because writing things in, in, in just regular CSS is it, it takes longer than, than doing it with SAS. Alright, so yeah, man, I'm trying to help you guys out, man, but you also got to help yourself out. You got to practice and you got to build things. And, like, man, go to my website. This is what I tell everybody. I'm actually going to create, you know, starting today. If you watch this video to the end, if you watch this video to the end, because most people don't even watch it to the end. If you watch this video to the end and you still haven't signed up to my website, on the description below I'm putting basically the five dollar special to get all the courses for five dollars just because I want you guys to do this all right um I know a lot of people keep telling me ten dollars is a lot okay so five dollars then at five dollars if you saw this video only on this video you will see this link all right I'll see you guys later and yeah uh <laughs> 
yeah, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes I'm in the zone. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.